Hi guys, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to make Instagram stickers using the Procreate app. So the first step in creating a gift is just to quickly sketch out your idea. I like to just use a regular pencil on the Procreate app and I'm using just a pencil brush that comes with Procreate and I'm quickly just sketching out what I want to create. It doesn't have to be really neat, it's just to kind of give myself some guides um, when I'm actually creating the actual art. So I'm adding some flourishes. I like to add flourishes because I think they make the animation look better. And now I added a new layer and on this layer I am creating a more refined piece of lettering. So now you'll see that I'm making sure my lines are straight and clean and I'm going over that original messy sketch that I did. Um, and a really quick tip for you guys, if you are a lettering artist, I, if you ever have letters that are replicated or duplicated inside of a word, um, I like to just copy and paste those letters. That way you don't have to just keep re recreating that same letter. And yeah, so here I am just, you know, making the rest of the sketch and I'm making sure it's nice and clean. And then I'm going to go ahead and make that large gift part. So I'm making the G, the I, and the F. And you'll see here I'm making the G and the I. And I like to make sure that my lines are nice and straight. It's totally up to you how you want it to look like. But for me, I like the original one to look nice and clean. Now, I originally didn't like the G that I made, so I made a new one, and you see here that I'm making a new G. And then once that G is done, I'm going to go on into adding those flourishes. So again, I'm making sure that the design is much more clean, much more refined. It's not messy. The original sketch, feel free to be as messy as you want, but you want this to look nice. Um, and again, it just depends on the aesthetic you want to go for with the, with the gift. So I'm adding more little dots around just because I feel like I can add more movement to it when I start at animating it. So I'm going to add that and make that into one layer. Now an, an important part is you're going to go to canvas and you're going to turn on animation assist. And you'll see that now below you'll see these settings and I can set the frames per second. But now when I add a new layer you're going to see that the, the layer we just created is going to go below and we're going to be able to see on top of it. So now on this new layer, this is going to be our second frame. So on the second frame, go ahead and, you know, retrace your original design. Now on this part, I highly recommend not being so technical with it. I want you to just kind of, you know, be a little messy. It makes it makes more room for movement with the GIF. Um, that way, if you were to make the exact same design, it, there would be no movement. So if it's a little bit more messy, that's okay. We want that messiness. And then with the, with the flourishes, I am making them either smaller or bigger in the same position. And that will give the illusion that they're either shrinking or growing. So now you can see I'm just labeling my layers. And then I can see how the gift is kind of turning out. Now I'm going to add color, so because gifts need color and I think they, they look much better with color. Um, and I'm just adding my colors to this piece. So this is the first frame, so the first layer. Just adding the color, it doesn't really matter. I'm just kind of just placing the colors wherever I feel like. And then on the second layer, which will be our second frame, um, those are the colors you want to pay attention to. So if you want a certain letter to change color, that's when you're going to want to change the color. So some of them I changed the color, some of them I just kept them, kept them the same. And you'll see I'm just adding those colors. So it's super, super simple. And now when I play the GIF, you can see it's, it's coming together. So now my GIF looks really cute. I really, really love it but that's not really how it's gonna look. I'm gonna edit the frames per second until I really like how it looks. So here I'm just editing the frames per second. And I think this is a good amount of frames per second. So about three. And that looks great. Now I'm gonna turn off my background layer. So the next step, now that our GIF is complete, we're gonna turn off our background layer that, that's how it looks. And then we're gonna crop and resize. I'm just gonna make sure that it's cropped to the actual design. 
and then I'm going to export it. So I'm gonna share and save as an animated GIF, and I'll save it to my device. Next, I'm gonna to go to Giphy.com, and like I said, um, you'll need an account, and you need to be verified if you want to search for your GIFs. Um, but I'm logging into mine, and they'll ask for your information on here, like your website, your social links, all that good stuff. So this is all the Briology stuff. Now I'm gonna to go to my dashboard and this is kind of where you can see all of the metrics for your GIFs. And then I'm gonna to go to upload. So here I'm gonna to go to my photo library and I'm going to choose that GIF I just made. I'm gonna upload it and there it is. So now I'm gonna give a source URL. So if somebody wants to know where this GIF came from, you can go ahead and say where you want it to go. So I'm gonna put my website, reology.com, and then tags. So tags are what people will be able to search for on Giphy or Instagram for your GIFs. So this one, I'm gonna use my name, I'm gonna use Reology, and anything else that comes to mind for this GIF. Because if people wanna find this GIF, um, they just have to search for these tags. So I'm just adding all the tags here. I recommend doing a lot of tags um, and makes it easier for people to find your work, especially if you're a brand, definitely, definitely put your brand name in there or your personal name. Um, definitely, definitely do that. And again, you want it Giphy for some reason. Um, well, not for some reason. They ask for a rating on the GIF because I think there's some <laughs> crazy GIFs out there. So uh, I just put PG for this one. And then I'm gonna upload the GIF. And it doesn't take too long, it's really, really quick. Uploading. And there it is, so now it is uploaded. It takes a while for it to actually be able, it takes a while for you to actually be able to search for it on Instagram, maybe a day or so, but there it is. And now, now I can search for it on Instagram and it's ready to go. So if you enjoyed this video, please follow me on Instagram at Reology for more fun videos and tutorials on lettering and all things business.